Hi everyone, to start out this look, I'm first applying my CoverGirl Outlast foundation, and this is a really full coverage foundation. And I'm just applying that all over my face and down my neck with a damp beauty blender. And then underneath my eyes, I'm applying my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer, and then I'm going to blend that in with my beauty blender. When I'm blending in the concealer, I make sure that I just bounce the concealer into my skin instead of swiping it away because when you swipe it just basically picks up the product and it doesn't push it into your skin. Now I'm just going to powder that into place to make sure it's not shiny and it lasts longer. And then I'm going to be applying this contour shade from the NYX Contour Kit right into the hollows of my cheekbones. With the fan brush I'm taking a darker shade and I'm going to carve out my cheekbones even more. And then with the Balm's Mary Luminizer highlighter I'm adding that onto the high points of my cheekbones and on the bridge of my nose and on top of my lip. I've already primed my eyelids and now I'm just taking a red eyeshadow on a small fluffy brush and I'm going to put that into my crease and then blend it upwards towards my eyebrow. After I lay down the first layer of shadow I like to take a big fluffy brush and just blend that out even more and I add some more red shadow onto the brush and just blend it out even further. Then with the same red eyeshadow, I'm putting that on my lower lash line and then I'm blending that down pretty far. Under the arch of my eyebrow, I'm taking Floof Eyeshadow from MAC, which is a really intense highlight shadow. And that also helps the red look more seamless against your eyebrow bone. Then over the entire lid, I'm applying Makeup Geeks Bitten with a small fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend that up towards the red. After I applied Bitten, I just took a large fluffy brush again and I blended all of that together so that it looks really soft and smoky. I also took Bitten down onto my lower lash line as well, and now I'm taking this dark matte brown shadow and I'm applying that right to my lash line. And I ended up just blending this all over my eyelid as well, and then I went over top of it with Makeup Geeks Bitten again just to keep it all in the same color family. To make this look even smokier, I'm taking a black shadow on an angled brush and I'm just pressing that into my lash line and then I also put it on my upper waterline and my lower waterline. Then with a little bit of black shadow on a small fluffy brush, I'm just going to blend that up so that it blends in with the brownish red color. Then I brought the black down onto my lower lash line as well and then I took a fluffy brush and I just blended in the black with some red shadow so that it didn't look too black, I just wanted it to look like smoky red. I've already curled my lashes and now I'm just adding two coats of Maybelline's The Colossal Volume Express Mascara to both my top and bottom lashes. Moving on to the brows, I'm using an angled brush with Max Espresso Shadow, which is a really dark matte brown. And I'm just going to fill them in with short little feathery strokes. And in the front, I took Max Omega, which is a lot lighter brown. And that just makes them look more natural, I guess, right in the front so that they don't look like blocks. And then I'm taking Maybelline's Great Lash Clear Mascara and I'm setting them into place with that. Off camera, I applied Ardell's Wispy Lashes, and then I layered on top of that with a more spiky pair. And then moving on to the lips, I'm using NYX's Mahogany Lip Liner to line my lips and fill them in. And then for the lipstick, I used MAC Studded Kiss. This is the finished look. I'll put all of the product information down in the description box. I hope you guys enjoy the video and as always, thank you for watching.